Uh, then following the, the talk of Bertrand uh, two weeks ago, I, I, I will show you some, uh, some uh, picture about the, the, of the tail earthquakes and some uh, particularity of this uh, earthquake that we can, uh, that we can show uh, now. Then I, I think that uh, you remember that this earthquake occurred near the city of uh, Montélimar, which is here. Uh, which is north of uh, Marseille. Uh, it's in the Rhone Valley. You see the, the big Rhone River here. It's on the right, yeah, the, the epicenter is on the right side of the Rhone Valley, close to the quarry Lafarge. I, I will not speak about the, the problem of the quarry uh, for, this, uh, for this talk. Um, the first thing, the first data that we get was the INSAR data, uh, which uh, show clearly uh, vertical ground displacement with an uplift of the southeast block here, uh, around uh, 10 centimeters, and the subsidence of the northwest blocks here, uh, around uh, 5 uh, centimeters then a, a, a significant uh, ground displacement for an earthquake uh, in, uh, in metropolitan uh, France. Uh, second uh, information, uh, just after the, the, the event, is the focal mechanism determined by a uh, method of Bertrand, uh, which clearly show a uh, reverse halting uh, mechanism. Then following this, uh, a small group of uh, geologists uh, went to the, the field uh, with some colleague of uh, myself, of course, but with some colleague of uh, Montpellier, IRSN uh, in Paris, and uh, also uh, from Grenoble. And uh, following the, the trace indicated by the INSA image, we found some surface rupture, discrete surface rupture trace in the field. Then I, I will show you quickly uh, the, the type of, uh, of uh, object that we, we observe. Uh, we, we saw uh, fissure here, like this one, very fine, uh, very small. We find also large fissure like this one, 10 meters long, and we find also some uh, very small but really uh, tectonic scar, like here, you can see this one, which cross the, 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 the road, and we have a very good marker uh, on the road, uh, with an uplift of this uh, block here on the southeast, here it's uh, around four centimeters, we have a, a second scarp here, which is the most uh, prominent, only uh, 10 centimeters, but with 10 centimeters of uplift for the block, which is on the other side of the scarp, this one, the rear of the, 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 the picture. All, uh, all, all in, the, in total, we found 20 indication of surface uh, rupture uh, along uh, five kilometers and uh, clearly aligned on uh, the, the INSAR fault trace. The INSAR, I remember you, which is here, the trace of the INSAR, and roughly it corresponds exactly, uh, the rupture are exactly located on the INSAR fault place. All these Rupture trace are aligned uh, along the northeast southwest uh, direction. Uh, we analyzed the sleep distribution with a terrestrial uh, scanning uh, laser here uh, from uh, the colleague of uh, Montpellier. And the results we obtained are consistent with INSAR data. We measure vertical offset in the range of uh, 5 20 centimeters. You have here, uh, for example, the, the, the DTM obtained from the, the, the laser, 
Here is a vertical offset. Here along the, the, the road, here we measure uh, four or five centimeters of offset, depends on precisely on the location. And here along this uh, forest uh, uh, road, uh, we measure until uh, 13 centimeters of vertical offset. Then the measure is clearly consistent with the uh, observation uh, of the INSAR uh, image. Uh, I would like to uh, point out something important. This is the landscape and in red, you see more or less uh, the, 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 the rupture trace. Then clearly it would be impossible to found uh, this trace of rupture without the INSAR image. Uh, the landscape, as you, you see, is mountainous, uh, very, with a very dense forest cover, and really, uh, without the, the, the help of the INSAR image, it will not be possible to find this trace of uh, rupture. Uh, just for memory, this is the rupture, uh, maybe some of you remember this, the rupture of the North Shire earthquakes with uh, much than one meter of the cliff, uh, of uh, offset, sorry. Uh, then clearly we are, we are not in the same category and uh, it's really difficult to examine uh, this type of uh, very small rupture in the field if you don't know where to look for. Then this is a geological map of uh, the area. The city of Montelimar is here, the city of Leteil is here, the Rhone River is here. And on the western side of the Rhone River, you see a lot of faults here in black, uh, crossing this uh, sedimentary uh, sequ geological sequence mainly of Cretaceous in green and brown and Oligocene in pink here. All the indication of surface rupture are located along the red line here, along the, uh, an inherited uh, port, which is called La Rouvière port. La Rouvière is the, the very small uh, town which is here just uh, south of of Le Tay. You see that there is a, a lot of fault on this side of the Rhone, but following the, 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 the Tay earthquakes, all the indication of surface rupture are located along the La Rouvière fault, five kilometers long. Yeah. Uh, this area in France, this area is located at the boundary of between uh, the Paleozoic basement here of the Massif Central, mainly uh, crystalline rock, granite, uh, metamorphic rock, and so on. It's a Paleozoic, like we call in Western Europe, uh, Paleozoic basement, which uh, suffered the Arsenian uh, origin. And on the other side of this area, here, we have the southeast basin of France which is filled uh, by uh, at least five kilometers of Mesozoic and Cenozoic sediments. The structure uh, in the area is more or less quite well known, we can say. Uh, on this zoom, then we have the boundary between the central massif here, the massif central, sorry, here, and the south basin of France. Uh, for the geography, Marseille, the city of Marseille is here, and the city of Valence is here. And you can see at this boundary a large system of faults, which is called uh, the Seven Fault, and which run from Montpellier here to Valence in the north here. And uh, this system of, of faults have uh, 100, more than uh, 100 kilometers long. Uh, it, uh, it has also a long geological uh, history since the Paleozoic. Uh, 
uh, it works the seven fold works at uh, uh, strike sleep during the Yersinian orogeny 300 million years ago. Uh, following this, uh, a long uh, history of, uh, with normal faulting during the opening of the Tethys Ocean during the Mesozoic. And uh, more, recent, much more recently, uh, normal faulting also during the opening of the Western uh, European rift and during the Oligocene 30 million years ago. Then we have typically a layered system of inherited fault uh, distributed uh, over a, a large area, like you see on this. Just uh, for a, a precision, the La Rouvière fault is here in red. You see that it's one of a very small segment of this very long system of fault. The structure of uh, this area is uh, well known thanks to a uh, seismic section which was uh, obtained along this trace south of the La Rivière fault, which is here. Uh, and you can see that the, the present day structure of, structure of this area is uh, mainly uh, related to normal faults with a dip to the southeast. As you see here, this structure is mainly inherited from the Mesozoic and Cenozoic deformation as normal fault. Uh, it accommodates, this normal fault accommodates the sedimentary, the ledge uh, sedimentary sedimentation in the southeast basin of France here, uh, which uh, reach uh, at least five kilometers uh, in this area. Uh, this is the, the outcrop uh, of the La Rouvière fault. Then you, you cannot see the precisely the La Rouvière fault on this geological cross section because it is to the south of the La Rouvière Fault, which is only here. But you can consider that the La Rouvière Fault is more or less the same structure as the faille de Lagorce Vallon, which is uh, this one. In the field, this is the uh, uh, picture of uh, the La Rouvière Fault. This is the fault plain, an outcrop of the fault plain, uh, which is here in the field. You have the Old plain in uh, limestone. Here, this is colluvium. We'll not speak about this. Uh, on this old plain, we can observe a dip of 60 uh, degrees to uh, the south, to the southeast here. And we observe also striation, deep sea striation here, typical of a normal fault. Then, uh, what we know in the geology. This is a geological map, uh, a precise geological map. You, you can see the Rhone Valley here with uh, quaternary alluvium deposits in, uh, in white here. Uh, it, on the right side of the, 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 the Rhone Valley, you have the sedimentary deposits uh, with Oligocene in pink here and Cretaceous age in uh, green and brown and the fault that I show you previously. What we know following the, uh, the, the tail earthquakes is, uh, of course, the location of the center. Bertrand uh, speak about, spoke about this uh, previously. The uplifted area sunk to the Nisar uh, data where the reverse faulting mechanisms. We know also the structure of uh, the area. This is a cross section here which corresponds to the red line here. And you see the La Rouvière fault with a dip to the southeast here. We know also the long-term history of the La Rouvière fault, which is 
one of the normal fold of this area, which accommodate the sedimentation in the, the southeast basin uh, during the Mesozoic and during the Cenozoic. But the present day history uh, of this area corresponds to a reverse faulting mechanism, as indicated by the total mechanism determined, and the uplifted uh, southeast block. Then we have, uh, we, we have an inversion of the La Rouvière fault. And the inversion of uh, uh, the tectonic inversion of this fault uh, st uh, starts from uh, the Oligocene with normal faulting, as shown by the, the, the yellow uh, the yellow arrows here in, a, in an extensional tectonic regime indicated by this uh, arrow. And we are now in a reverse faulting. Uh, mechanism with uh, compression of this area since when we don't know precisely uh, it's a geological problem which is not uh, clearly uh, we have no solution for the moment to determine the, the, the change of tectonic regime uh, in, uh, in this area. Alors, I'm not sure uh, of what I say now but I think that for me, it's the first case that I show, uh, that I, I, I look um, to uh, a, 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 um, a direct inversion of a fault. For me, it's the first time I never seen described in the, in the bibliography, but I, I don't know all the bibliography, of course, but I never seen clearly a reverse earthquakes uh, on a norm on a long term normal fault. Maybe and certainly it exists, but I don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't know that if some of you have some uh, information about this. Uh, uh, thank you to, 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 to give me this information. Then tectonic inversion is not uh, something exceptional. We know clearly uh, the, this type of, uh, of uh, history along fault. I show you uh, two Example here along the seismic section, uh, you have uh, the, the fault clearly marked here on the seismic section with uh, uh, fan sedimentation here, typical of uh, tilted blocks and uh, normal faulting, which is the, the, the beginning of the history of this fault, like uh, number one indicated here. And you can see on the top of the seismic section here the folding of the sedimentary, of the recent uh, sediment, uh, sedimentation, which indicate the inversion along uh, the inversion of the movement of the movement along this, uh, this normal fault. Unfortunately, I cannot say more about this because I have only this beautiful seismic section, but I don't know where it is and I don't know precisely the history of this area. Then, uh, of course, it's uh, what I know, it's a marine uh, profile, then uh, it's, in a, it's in a sedimentary basin. Another example uh, in the Alps, which is one, certainly one of the, the beautiful examples of a tectonic inversion in a mountain belt. We are here in, uh, near Bourdoison. Bourdoison is a small town near Grenoble. And you can see here two faults. The first one is here, and the second one is here. And clearly, uh, the field work de de demonstrated the inversion of this fault, which uh, played first in an extensional uh, tectonic context during the Mesozoic, during the opening of the Tethys Ocean, and then was reworked uh, during the, the Alpine uh, compression during, in uh, Oligocene, Miocene time, and this normal fault was clearly inverted. And you see the beautiful uh, large fold here associated to the reverse movement along this way. Then uh, uh, the, the, the 
tectonic inversion is not something really exceptional. But it's for me the first time that I see clearly a reverse earthquake on a long term normal form. Is uh, this uh, surface structure unexpected in France? This is the seismicity uh, map of France. Uh, and we record uh, several earthquakes with magnitude more or less equivalent to uh, the magnitude of Le Pay, uh, which is 4.9. We have, for example, in Brittany, magnitude 5, Arrête magnitude 4.2, uh, Saint-Dié magnitude 4.9, Barcelona 4.8, etc. etc. And Epani, I will say something uh, about Epani just after. Uh, but we, we did not observe surface structure uh, for these earthquakes. Maybe because we we not look for this surface structure. Maybe because we had not at this time uh, the precise INSA image that we uh, get, uh, that we got uh, uh, for the Le Pay earthquakes. Simply, uh, uh, what we know is that for magnitude five, the, the fault surface uh, is 15 kilometers square. The fault width in general two four kilometers, 10 of this sketch. You understand you have the topographic uh, surface in, uh, in, uh, in uh, gray. Here, uh, an inherited fault plane in pink, and uh, the active fault for an earthquake of magnitude five with uh, four by four kilometers here. And if the seismogenic depth, which is generally the case, uh, in France is five, 10 kilometers. If the descent, if the, uh, the focal depth is at five kilometers, uh, it's impossible to have a, a surface rupture, of course. In the case of uh, Le Tay, uh, if the surface rupture is at two, one or two kilometers, like say, uh, like said Bertrand uh, previously, then if the, the essential of the rupture starts to the top, it's possible to get rupture. And clearly, uh, in, uh, to get surface, surface rupture. And clearly, in, uh, for the Letail earthquakes, this is the situation, which is absolutely uh, favorable to uh, observe a uh, surface rupture. And certainly, the other earthquakes I, I showed you previously was too deep to uh, uh, allow the, the, the surface structure to propagate up to the surface. Up to the surface. Maybe, uh, maybe for the Epani earthquakes, uh, the Tay earthquake is here, the, the, the Massif Central, the Alps here, the Lac Léman, the Jura here, and the Epani earthquakes occurred, occurred in the 1996, uh, he had, a, he had a, a magnitude of uh, 5.3 and also a very shallow focal depth at two kilometers. And the colleague uh, who worked uh, on this earthquake maybe identified also surface structure with fissure like this one. It is uh, in the paper of Igno et al. And in a uh, house, a small displacement, strike slip displacement, right, uh, left lateral uh, strike slip displacement, uh, like the focal mechanism of the Epani earthquakes. And they showed that in a wall of, uh, of the house uh, on, the, on the fortress. But they, they had only two, uh, two indices, two indications, uh, and not uh, so clear continuity that we saw uh, in the Letay earthquakes. There is some other example in the world of surface structure uh, for small or moderate magnitude earthquakes. This is the case uh, in Ecuador for the 
Zion Ball earthquake in 2010 with a magnitude five, and you have in the publication of Champenois uh, the trace of rupture uh, at surface here. It's a beautiful description. There is also recently the case in 2018 uh, in um, Australia, uh, the Lake Muir, the Lake Muir uh, earthquakes magnitude 4.3 with the uh, formation of a beautiful scar here at surface, several uh, tens of centimeters height, and a trench which showed uh, the offset along this uh, reverse fault. Then it's not, uh, the surface structure for modelic magnitude earthquake is not exceptional, but it's rare. Uh, I said previously that we, we, we have a, a, a very beautiful case of inversion uh, of a fault, but we have some problem. Uh, that remains uh, not uh, explained in the geology. Uh, this earthquake cannot occur. This earthquake cannot occur following some uh, indication in the, in the geology. The first one uh, is the, the deep of the fault at surface. The deep of, of the fault at surface is uh, 50, 60 degrees. And uh, following the, the, the mechanical law of the, of the ruptures, uh, this precludes the propagation of the rupture because the, for the inversion of the fault, the deep is too steep. Then this is the first problem. The second problem concerns the, the focal depth and the initiation of the rupture. The focal depth is at uh, around uh, one kilometer's uh, uh, depth here in a thick sedimentary, mainly marine sequence. And this marine sequence, you have a picture here. Uh, how is it possible to accumulate enough stress, uh, in, uh, enough stress to, to nucleate an earthquake in a, a sedimentary material which have a ductile uh, 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 rheology. Uh, this is a problem. For the moment, it's not clearly explained. Maybe uh, our geological section uh, is uh, wrong, uh, and we have inside this uh, Marley series a uh, uh, thick limestone uh, series. Maybe it's possible, but we have a, a, a deep borehole just north of La Bruvière Fault, which cross all these series. And uh, there is no trace of such a limestone series inside the Marley series. Then uh, we have the problem. The, another hypothesis uh, concerns uh, the two layer uh, on uh, down, down here in blue and up here in, uh, in uh, green, uh, which bound the Marley series. This is a limestone, a thick limestone, uh, very strong, the, the, the Urganian uh, limestone here and the Titanian limestone here, several uh, uh, 100 meters uh, thick and really very strong limestone. Then maybe uh, the, the, the Mali series be in between the, the, the two, uh, the two limestone layer uh, is uh, strongest that uh, we, we, we think, but it's not sure. Then there, we have a problem also with, uh, with this question. What about stress? Uh, in the area, I show you two pictures because this is also a problem, uh, the stress. Uh, this is discussed in the community. Uh, uh, what I know uh, is from uh, two uh, types of data. The first one is the world data, uh, the world stress map, which is here. Uh, and you show the area of Le Pay here, and you show there is only one data in our pool. 
uh, only one data, which indicate uh, S H. Uh, it's a data from uh, Bohun, uh, which indicate uh, S H max in a northwest southeast direction. Then it's consistent uh, with a reverse faulting along uh, northeast southwest fault as the Laurier fault. The other type of data is uh, the horizontal strain rate derived from uh, GPS measurements. Uh, this is from the paper of uh, Masson et al. in 2019. We are in this area here, and you see also uh, west, uh, the picture is not so good, uh, you see also uh, west, northwest, south, south, east, southeast, uh, uh, or, uh, comp or compressive strain rate, uh, then consistent also with the rivers uh, faulting along the La Rouvière fault. But discussion uh, with uh, some colleagues said, uh, okay, for this data is not so good, and uh, uh, they have, but I, I cannot show you the, this data because I have not here. Uh, they said that uh, the, the, the present day uh, state of stress uh, in this area is more or less north-south. Then, if it's more or less north-south, we expect a, a strike slip component along the La Rouvière fault. And this is not the case. You, you have seen the, 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 the mechanism, which is a pure, uh, pure uh, uh, reverse faulting. Then we have also a problem with the state of stress. Uh, the last, uh, the last uh, uh, picture, uh, sorry, but I, I have no time to, to speak about, uh, to speak about uh, uh, paleo seismologies and I, I will show you only, uh, only one picture on the question uh, we asked uh, presently. Uh, uh, then you recognize here the, 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 the Rhone River, always the tail is here, the Rambia Fault, all of, of this fault. Uh, the La Rouvière fault was not supposed uh, to be active. Uh, was not supposed to be active, but no precise analysis was done on this fault. And I think that this is the main problem for all uh, the fault uh, in uh, on the, the, the metropolitan uh, France uh, uh, territory. Then we have uh, uh, we start now uh, a program of uh, paleo seismology studies with some question, uh, are the neighboring faults, you see that uh, uh, parallel to La Rouvière fault is in, you see that we have uh, several faults parallel to the La Rouvière fault, then certainly is a, in the same uh, state of stress. Are these neighboring faults prone to rupture also or not? Possible to answer this question, very difficult, of course. Uh, in terms of Paleoseismology, how many earthquakes on the La Rouvière Fault uh, in recent time? What we call recent time is a quaternary, let's say two million years. Uh, and the same question for the, 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 the fault in the neighboring of the uh, La Rouvière Fault. Uh, is there some, earth, some recent earthquakes along this one, along this one, along this one? We have absolutely no information. Then we we, we start to uh, study several paleoseismological sites, uh, which is pointed by this uh, different uh, uh, color in green and in yellow. For the moment, we study only six of these sites, and we maybe, uh, maybe this is in discussion. It's, it's really uh, new. Uh, this is a trench along uh, the first trench along the La Rivière fault. You see the fault plane. You see it's the same as I showed you uh, previously. And we evidenced just here what you see the, 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 this white uh, uh, color here, uh, which is filled with clays. Uh, Certainly, the clays which is at the base of the, the, the trench here, and maybe these clays were was remobilized during a previous 
earthquakes as uh, the day earthquakes. Uh, previous with uh, a quaternary age, certainly because this feature is inside the colluvium cover and these sediments is very recent, quaternary. We, we wait for detection for the moment. And if we can demonstrate that this structure corresponds really to a seismic structure, then we will have an idea of the, the last, maybe the last earthquakes along the La Rivière Fault during the Quaternary. This is really a, a, a starting job. Then I have no, uh, I have no uh, uh, precise results to give you for the moment. We will see after. And I will finish with a parenthesis. Uh, um, then we go back to the uh, uh, one of the, um, the remarks of uh, Bertrand uh, during his talk. You remember the problem uh, he talked about uh, the, this problem of the offset of the uh, all of the, the epicenter toward the northwest. You have on this map the, the La Rivière Fault here. Oh, sorry, oh, no. <laughs> no problem. Uh, the La Rivière Fault here and the, the offset of the of the, the epicenter to the northwest of the fault, which the problem I still explained. And he mentioned the possibility of a, a problem of a velocity at depths in the medium uh, between the, the, the IPO center and the station, which uh, record uh, the, the earthquakes. And if we turn this uh, uh, sketch here, uh, this is the structure of the region with the crystalline basement of the central massif, which have cropped on the west here, and which deepens uh, uh, slowly to the southeast. And we are in, uh, uh, we have two medium, the sedimentary series with a low velocity, the one in the sketch here, and the crystalline basement, which have a, a highest velocity than the sedimentary series, D2 here. D2 here. Then it's possible that, uh, uh, following this uh, hypothesis, that the structure in this area uh, explain the, the offset of the hypocenter, of the epicenter toward the northwest. Thank you. I have finished.